Hi, I'm Don from Don Drones On. Well, it's that magic time again to reflect on the past year and consider the road ahead in 2024. Let's dive in. So many great things happened in 2023. On the Drone Pilot Association of Canada side, our membership has more than doubled. And right now we're at 2,692 official members on the DPAC website. The DPAC Facebook group is exploding with over 6,800 members and growing fast. I would like to take a moment to thank Mike Hill, who moderates this enormous Facebook group. He works hard to ensure it remains a safe, friendly place to ask questions and share advice. DPAC has been very active with Transport Canada this year, meeting quarterly, plus plenty of contact in between meetings. We submitted a firm remote ID white paper in, to TC in March to proactively, well, put a stake in the ground before they followed our friends to the south. And then later in the year, when the proposal came out for the new regulations, nothing to do with remote ID, thankfully, DPAC was quick to produce a complete eight-page response. But really, DPAC's biggest contribution to the droning community this year was the DPAC safety course. This course was originally suggested to Transport Canada as an alternative to their current basic exam. That was a bit of a leap for them, though. So instead, we made it into a simple public offering and expanded it to help cover safety concerns for folks flying sub-250 gram drones. And the fact that it was also accepted as a recency activity was sort of a bonus. If you haven't yet earned your DPAC safety certificate, give it a shot. It's on the DPAC webpage under resources. By the way, all of these DPAC achievements are collaborative en endeavors. The DPAC safety course, for example, was led by Steve Bannister. The remote ID paper was driven by Steve Bogner, and I led the regulations position paper. Great team efforts. And something that didn't get much publicity, but was actually pretty huge. Nick Seemel was invited to speak on a panel at the annual Airline Pilot Association conference in Chicago. ALPA is the largest pilot union in the world, with over 11,000 Canadian pilots represented. Nick represented DPAC and provided insights into the safety of recreational droning on a panel that included reps from Transport Canada, Nav Canada, and Advanced Air Mobility. Way to go, Nick. Shifting away from DPAC, my app development partner Larry and I were busy with two new Drone Pilot Canada releases in 2023. The app is now bilingual, offers more flexibility for document storage and loading, and in the latest release, you can edit and clone both flight plans and site surveys. Great new features and upgrades like these come free with your one-time purchase of Drone Pilot Canada. Finally, I had a lot of fun with my Dawn Drones On YouTube channel this year. Even though I get most of my views on drone regulations videos and stuff like that, I like to sneak in some cinematic videos from time to time. And I also covered several events in my local community of Tamworth and Aaronsville. For me, these are the most fun and rewarding. And if you guys happen to enjoy them too, well, that's icing on the cake. Oh, and then there was also the hoopla around the Buttonville police drone crash and the TSB report that came out on that. It was really interesting to analyze the report, then do my own investigation, get the police report perspective on the event, and even talk to eyewitnesses. Interesting stuff. The most fun though, was introducing WeRoll. If you don't know what this, this is, it's a simple way to showcase amazing drone footage from you guys as B-roll at the beginning and end of my videos. The we is for us, the drone community. It's super fun to see the stuff you guys send me and hopefully you feel good about seeing your footage getting some more exposure. In 2023, I shared 20 We Roll clips. And I'm a, if I'm really clever, I'll put a scrolling list of names right over there. Check out the link in the description below for details about how and what you can send me. It's simple and fun. We Roll. B Roll with the spirit of We. 
And that's probably a great place to turn around and talk about 2024. I definitely want to see more Weeroll. Come on, I just need 30 seconds of awesome footage. And I know you have it. And I will certainly need lots more clips because I expect many, many more videos about the new and updated Transport Canada regulations once they are formally announced later in the year. Lots of work to be done there to ensure everyone understands what the new rules are and what has changed in the old rules. Drone Pilot Canada users will see more new feature releases in 2024 as well. Larry and I are working on a couple of cool features already to make things easier and safer. On the DPAC side of things, the steering committee discussed our 2024 plans a couple of weeks ago. Obviously, we'll be maintaining our core business of working with Transport Canada to nudge the regulations and exams towards a more reasonable and safe set of practices. And we'll continue to work with them to ensure topics like protocols near airports, aviation radio use, and flying over national parks are clear, well-documented, and sensible. Also, we hope to have DPAC representatives on any new Transport Canada subcommittees that get set up, like Canadac. From a drone community perspective, we're planning to repeat the DPAC Fly Day around Canada Day, probably the Saturday before. The idea that everyone fly their drone or RC aircraft on that day in a public awareness demonstration of how safe drones really are. In addition, we're hoping to promote more local events through the warmer months. We've had a couple of what we call drone discovery days in Kingston, where drone pilots can get together for some team fun, but the public is also invited to see what drone flying is all about. Kind of a neat idea. Stay tuned for more details. Another thing we're contemplating is the whole issue of municipal bylaws, flying in city parks and stuff like that. We have a number of ideas and certainly would welcome everyone's thoughts and contributions here. First, we would like to develop a crowdsourced index of municipal bylaws so it's easier for people to find them and understand them. Secondly, we could crowdsource geodata for park boundaries and other uh, no-fly zones. And maybe even more useful would be a crowdsourced list of drone-friendly places. Wouldn't that be handy? Finally, we'd like to prepare a template for people to use to help approach local municipal governments to actually change their bylaws to be more drone friendly. Starting with some education and how the TC regulations already work to ensure the safety of bystanders. This will be a lot of work, so if you're interested in rolling up your sleeves and helping to tackle some of this, let me know. And we're launching a newsletter to help you to be more aware of DPAC activities, drone news, and important updates. Jean Lamoureux is heading up the newsletter. To sign up, simply hit the Join button on the DPAC website and you'll be added to the distribution list. Lastly, we're going to take another crack at the insurance nut. How to get reasonable group insurance rates for recreational and small commercial drone and RC aircraft folks. Again, if you want to help here, let me know. So there we have it. Lots of great progress in 2023 and a challenging year ahead of us for 2024. And as many of you know, there is nothing I like better than a challenge. Just please don't ever dare me. You just never know what might happen. Anyways, safe and happy flying in the new year. Now let's enjoy some of that cool we roll I mentioned. <music>